Hello and welcome to Activate for Kids. Today we're going to show you the Corgi Sprint, which is a hybrid between a buggy and a wheelchair. It's got a lot of things that we like about buggies, the black wheels, the locking front casters, but it's also taking us through to wheelchair seating with proper profile cushions, more accurate positioning hip guides and lateral supports, and the independent headrests opening up a wider range of support there. I hope you enjoy looking at this. So it's the Corgi Sprint, wheelchair with suspension. Please watch and enjoy. Thank you. So here it is, the Corgi Sprint. Let's just show you the tilt. The tilt mechanism is here on the back bar, down on the base. Press with your foot and then move the tilt like so. Here's a close up view of the tilt pedal. It has a lock on it here which protects from any inadvertent operation during transport. So to release that you have to pull the pin out and rotate to lock it out and then the tilt pedal will work freely. But when going into transport, click that back on and ensure that that's engaged. It also has a recline function. These two handles here pull together and re-engage and use the whole settings on the side. Here's a closer view of the recline function here. Corgi Spence is a very simple brake operation. Just move the lever in like that and lock against the wheel. The front casters have a locking mechanism. So that this is activated just by pulling the pin out and letting it slide down and then locating that into the caster itself and this will prevent the caster from moving. This is especially useful when in a wheelchair accessible vehicle. Stops the caster spinning out and jamming on the outside edges of the vehicle. And also used in public transport, acts as a bit of a sideways brake when there isn't any other securing method in print. The Corby Sprint does have a tray table available. This attaches in the armrest tubes as shown here. It's located into the hole, slide to the desired position and tighten that using this hand screw here. The pommel is attached to the front crossbar across between the leg rest assembly and is released by undoing this hand wheel here and removing from the bracket. The hip guard can be adjusted in a number of ways. The uh, height of the armrest can be adjusted by undoing this fixing here. I can raise and lower by a small amount. And the main hip guide itself can be adjusted by undoing these fixings here. There's two fixings there just to hold it rigid and in line. But this can be removed up and down to a better position as required. The swing wheel lateral supports are operated by just pulling back the cover to reveal the button which we pull to swing the lateral support away. The lateral supports are adjusted for height and width by undoing these bolts on the back of the chair here. You can slide up and down the full length of this slot and the back of the laterals are also slotted so they'll move the other way as well. Each Corgi Sprint comes with profiled cushioning on the seat unit. This has sculpted thigh guides in the cushion and also dips down to an ischial well at the back which helps to provide good posture by securing the pelvis at the correct angle. The backrest cushion is also profiled so that it slopes out at the sides to provide a bit of shoulder retraction and positioning across the backrest. One of the unique features on the Corby Sprint is the independent suspension. Each wheel has its own mechanism so that when going across rough ground there's this taking up of the strain as you can see. Here we have the swing away footrests. These are removed very simply by pushing this lever here and lifting away. These also flip up and out of the way for loading and unloading. There's a choice of uh, foot straps available for the foot plate. We also do a flip back foot plate, which is a rigid box, but it folds back like this for loading and unloading. 
You can see we have strap points on the footrest available. This is especially useful for children who've got a very strong extensor pattern to push down onto the footplate. The headrest has a series of adjustments. It's uh, installed and removed on the bar here. This bracket slides backwards and forwards but also secures the main stem. This particular headrest is very useful for following on from the buggy style of headrest. It gives us this shaping here from side to side which we're used to having on buggy headwings. Finally, this is our most advanced headrest which gives us comfortable support around either side of the jawline here with the back head stop here to provide further control. To remove the seat unit on the Corby Sprint, these two catches under the seat here have to be released both at the same time. It's important that they should both be engaged when you click back on. This is a safety feature to ensure that one of them isn't accidentally triggered causing the seat to tip back on us. So then the seat is able to be lifted straight off. And finally, if you ever need to go away, this is in a couple of minutes you can reduce the corgi sprint down to this sort of size, which actually enables you to fit it much more easily into a car boot along with the rest of your holiday luggage. So there it is, the corgi sprint, a very popular solution for children who are moving out of buggies into wheelchairs. It's a very, very nice transition product. Thank you for watching.